This is probably going to get a long-term deal from the New Orleans Saints, but in the interim, they might place the franchise tag on him in order to get there. And several other players could be under that. Looks like Vincent Jackson will not be one of those players with San Diego, thus probably putting himself uh, at the top of the list or very, very close to it for a lot of NFL teams in terms of free agent wide receivers. There'll be a lot of teams that ought to show interest if they're serious about upgrading. Uh, I think he actually, I'd been fairly down on Vincent Jackson as elite up until last year. I kind of turned the corner with him during last season. Oh, this season you did? Yeah. How last season? Because I thought it was more about the football and less about everything else. Do you think he's elite? I'm, I think he's borderline now. He's better than Andre Johnson. I'd take him right now over Andre Johnson. Vincent Jackson? Well, he's had some. I mean, I understand that his quarterback wasn't consistent last year, but maybe he had a bigger year than I remember last year. But he was really down two years ago, and, and I know that it was that was pretty extenuating circumstances. They, look, they've screwed him over in San Diego big time. You want to talk about a you want to talk about a franchise that doesn't like to give people contracts? Vincent Jackson's been begging for a contract for for quite some time and he even sat out to try to get to try to get a contract i wouldn't go so far as to pump him up over dre even though dre's in an injured state because he's never been the i'm gonna catch 10 balls for you because you need me to catch 10 balls for you i'll get four for 100 one of them will go for a 40 yard touchdown he's always been like that and that's why i've always hesitated to put him in that group of elite he receivers. He 60 catches last year, his highest ever, 68. He's never had a 70-catch season. Well, he's also, never. right, but that's because Philip Rivers' number one guy has always been Antonio Gates. I mean, Gates is... I don't, I don't buy Phillip that. Philip Rivers is going to throw that? 550 no, passes. I mean, two guys can catch the ball in that yeah, offense. Yeah, how many offenses me. have had, with a quarterback that prolific, have had two guys catch over 80 passes? That happens all the time. Antonio, but Antonio Gates what? has been there. It doesn't matter. Antonio Gates, he's still catching 1,100 yards with the ball. Vincent Jackson's a deep threat, and yeah. he's barely he's come out of that. He's just to become more of a complete receiver. Well, that's the question. Of the knock on him is can he run the whole route tree and be an effective wide receiver over the middle, be an effective wide receiver in all aspects of an offense, or is he just a straight vertical wide receiver? It that's doesn't the seem like he should be with his capabilities. seems like he can do more. And to look at his numbers and realize how down they are, his yards per catch are probably oh, among active always, players in the top three or four. They're always high. But he's he's played four seasons where he's seen action in every game. And none of those times has he had more than 60 catches. That's that's a very low number. He had 68 one year. Well, he didn't play in every game that year, so that's oh, how I got yeah, that out of the argument. Just one. Oh, you, I see you weasel that one game you missed out of there. I like to give factual stats. I think he's, no, no, no. The, I think 18, 17, 17, 18 the last four years yeah. is awesome. Deep threat. 18, 17. Oh, yards per, yeah, he's a he's a deep threat. He's, he's just a big, uh, like a Deshaun Jackson type. But that's the problem is they they think he's just limited to just being a guy who goes Great. To, well, Tom, I didn't do that. I don't care. And now he, well, I he call is better from than Andre Colorado. Johnson, that's all he ever sure, does. Sure, because he, he's on the field. Well, that's at, at even point ridiculous. Has he Come been, on, he's on the field? At what point has he Vincent been Vincent Jackson than played Johnson's five career? games in 2020. Right. Be, played 15 right, the year right. before. Yeah, but why did he sit out? Not because he was hurt. It was a contract dispute. He sat he out. still wasn't on the field. We have turned on Andre Johnson pretty fast in this city. Well, still keep in mind we were comparing him to. This is a Pro Bowl caliber receiver yeah. we're still talking about. But, I mean, Andre Johnson, show me a year. This that, that was his first year where he hasn't really performed at an extremely high level and is based on injury. And, by the way, when Dre was healthy, he, he performed did perform. at an extremely yeah, high when level. He was healthy, he was fine. I don't know that I'm ready to just write him off as an old washed-up has-been yet. No, he said he's a has-been. He just can't stay healthy. He just well, can't. I mean, I just think comparing Vincent, saying Vincent Jackson's better than him. Well, forget that statement. Okay. It's 2012. Who would you rather have as your wideout in 2012? Vincent Jackson. I'd just rather have, I'd rather, for the Texans, I'd rather have Andre Johnson. You have to make it relative to, for my offense, it'd, it'd be Andre Johnson. From now in the next For the three, Chargers, probably Vincent Jackson. Next three years, who's more productive? Vincent Jackson. Oh, probably Vincent Jackson. But they're both. I mean, it's not like there's much age he's, difference. He's 29. One yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not really due to age necessarily. We're watching. A uh, 34, 30, or 36 year old, soon to be, He's and a 38 year old Owens and Moss that healthy. want to play football. It's not about that. It, you know, receivers can still perform into their 30s. It's not the end of the line for all of them. When you're already facing all the injury issues that Andre is, that's where we come into that discussion. It'll be his 10th season, and he's coming off his worst season from a health standpoint. It doesn't paint a very pretty picture. From 115 to 101 to 86 to 33 catches the last four years. He's had a drop-off wow. and crossed the board.
I wasn't scary. I mean, if you hear something we're talking about, <laughs> and, and also you want to jump in and be a uh, part of it, you don't have to ask questions. It's just a finger. Be part of the crew here well, and, uh, and come in and argue with us or uh, whatever you want to do. Seven one three two one two five seven ninety. Lamont, what's going on? Hey man, what's up, man? Hey. Uh, you know, I'm definitely going to argue on this one right here. You know, uh, I've been kind of sitting in the wings, listening to the big show, uh, participating via Twitter and stuff like that. But what, 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 what? Matt Jackson just said was probably the most ignorant thing I ever heard on the radio, man. It's no, it, it's no damn way in hell. Vincent Jackson is better than un, uh, Andre Johnson. Right Did now, really he is. Say, excuse me. Right now, he is. No, you can't say that, man. That, that 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 was close to being irresponsible right there. Why? Andre Johnson is better than Vincent Jackson on his worst day. I, I can't I can't even believe you said anything like that. I think you need to uh, 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 recuse yourself right now from the big Vincent show. Jackson. Let me give you Vincent Jackson in the, in the postseason. Twenty nine catches for five hundred and three yards. Seventeen yards a catch. Three touchdowns. He is he when he is given the opportunity to perform in the big stage, he he p- performs very well. He stays healthy. That's a huge part of it, Lamont. Andre Johnson, you can't count on him to be healthy anymore. No, no, man. Uh, I don't care about all that. Listen to what you just said. Andre uh, Vincent Jackson is better than Andre Johnson. Right now, that yes. Even makes sense. No, right now, no, he I, is. I can't take that one right there. You got to take that one back. No, I won't. Right now, I. How many games? If you were putting a hundred dollars on it right now, who plays more games next year, Andre Johnson or Vincent Jackson? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's, uh, uh, uh Adam y'all co that. No. No. I'm letting you. Okay, have, then, man. Have your That's argument. all the hell, man. Man, that, that was stupid right there, man. That, that, that's dumb. Why? This is a one-on-one argument, so I'm just letting what, you guys Why is go it ahead. stupid to think that Vincent Jackson will play more games than Andre Johnson next year? I don't, I don't care about no stats. I don't care about any of that crap, man. Uh, Vincent Jackson is not better than Andre Johnson. That, that was That's ignorant, the though. argument. The, the argument is, is I don't think that Vincent Jackson, who has been a, a just a vertical threat. Now, he's been a vertical threat on a pass-happy offense. Andre Johnson has been, he's had, guess who he's had with him? He's had Antonio Gates with him. The number one threat, as you said, Andre Johnson has had he's had Owen Daniels when he's been healthy and when he hasn't had an ACL. And other than that, he's had Kevin Walter on the other side of him. Yeah, Trey, but how about the other part of it? What has Andre had? He's had Matt Schaub and David Carr. And what has Vincent Jackson had? Philip Rivers, Pro Bowl quarterback, Philip Rivers. The whole time. Well, that doesn't counteract one of those counteract each other. He's had a great no, passing Tra- quarterback Trey with him the whole time. It. Yeah, Trey's and Trey's done it had, with less the whole he, time. Well, it's not about having less. It's about he's the target. So, of course, he's going to be more productive. There's but, nobody else you know, to throw to. You know something? I understand what Matt Jackson just did, and he probably succeeded. He just got a reaction uh, no, He just got a reaction out of me. It kind, of, uh, it kind of pisses me off because I don't think you have to go on radio and do stuff like that. I don't think man. that was – no. No, I, I'm, Lamont, look, Andre Johnson it, it, it has had a borderline Hall of Fame career up to this point, but I'm just going on what I've – said. he played seven games this year. The guy always plays hurt, and it is awesome that he does that. Right now, next season, for next season, if I could have Andre Johnson or Vincent Jackson, I want Vincent Jackson because I know Vincent Jackson is going to be on the field. I can tell you this. if Andre, you're, So you're just saying that, that you think he's always going to be on the field. If both of them play 16 games, who do you want? If both of them play 16 games, that's probably a coin flip. It's probably it's okay, a- man. I'm gone, man. All right, we'll see. You I'm with you on that, Lamont. I mean, if it's both of them play flip. 16, it's still Andre Johnson. He showed no signs of letting up from a from a – football player standpoint i i agree with you on the injury front you know i've kind of come around on that you two hit me pretty good with the uh with the i told injury you was injury prone, thing. prone and i, I really well, hadn't hit it hard to get I mean, you to go all right for all him right. to get hurt twice without being touched was that scares me because when that starts happening you know usually the lower what happens lower extremity injuries in football once they or basketball once you start seeing them happen at the age of 30 on guys then a lot of times it starts becoming the norm but honestly if he plays 16, I mean, when he played, he looked like the same Andre Johnson to me. He's not quite he's, he's not quite as fast as he used to be. I don't see him run away from anyone pretty much ever. But I still saw a tremendous production when he was healthy. I mean, the, that's the concern. Does he stay healthy next year? Is there any way that the lockout created a situation where he was more injured than he would normally be? I, I hope so. I hope that's the excuse why. And I hope it's just not because he's getting older. Because... It looked like he got shot, and you're right. It wasn't just one game scenarios. He was gone multiple games, twice. Yeah, once you get to the point where you're willing to say if they both play 16 games, then blank. You can't. I can't believe you'd 
want to say that Vincent Jackson is better. But I think I you still, made, I yeah. think you made a good I think you made a good point though, Lex, when you said who else is Matt Schaub going to throw the ball to? That's part of the production angle of it, but the, it's such a dramatic difference. Yeah, but he's he, Andre's he putting up throw to, the, Andre's putting up fifteen hundred yards. He's, uh, he's Vincent's awesome. getting eleven hundred. The argument is he, is, is he the awesome. best wide receiver in football? So that had nothing to do with Matt Schaub. He made Matt Schaub look no, good. That's Andre not, Johnson is awesome. There's no doubt about it. My argument is based ninety nine percent on health. I can't count on Andre Johnson. And to be fair, I can't Lamar, count on Vincent Jackson. And to be fair, can you Lamar, count on him not to be suspended. But we can't continue. Yeah, but to be fair, we can't continue to just say that he's. Automatically, 2007 Dre, 2008 Dre, 2009 Dre. At some point, age does. At some point, you do have to factor in what they are now. And, and I don't think Matt was trying to get a reaction. I think Matt legitimately believes that based on age and coming off of the the injury prone year, I just didn't see a drop off in his football skills. What I saw was a guy who had a harder time staying on the field. Which, I mean, Yao was incredibly skilled at the very end too. Look at when Yao's healthy, but sure. if you can't stay on the court of the field. It's your skill level is consequential, but that's like Randy Moss. People getting excited about Randy Moss because he said he wanted to come back, and I don't think it's a high percentage. But Randy Moss wasn't good in 2010, didn't play in 2011. There's no reason that you, to believe, despite his name being Randy Moss, and people just saying he said he could run a four three eight. Chris Carter said he could run a four three eight if he got out of bed tomorrow. That's great. What does that mean? Randy Moss had no interest in going anywhere inside the numbers at all his last year. Didn't play hard at all, and he's 35 now. Here, here's an interesting Age number for you. Age will eventually get everybody. Uh, in, Except me. In 2011. <laughs> just keep playing at the same smooth level. In 2011, Andre Johnson had five games where he caught four or more balls. Five games. Mm-hmm. He only played in seven. Or excuse me. He only, yeah, he only played in seven. Five of those seven, he had four or more catches. Five times. 16-game season. Vincent Jackson played in every game. He did it six times. Ten times Vincent Jackson played and had three or fewer catches. Yeah, in, I don't, I don't zero, care if he's, making all, if he's making a bunch of big plays. 